We were very surprised. The regional cuisine of Mexico's Yucatan Peninsula, including Merida, is very different from what Americans like us traditionally think of as Mexican food. The influence of the ancient Maya people, whose legacy can be felt in many aspects of life in the Yucatan, is especially prevalent in the food. Some of the dishes here are unique to the Yucatan and very difficult to find outside of the peninsula. These include pibil, which is marinated meat wrapped in spices and banana leaves and then cooked in a barbecue pit, often below ground. Pakchuk, which are slices of pork marinated in a sour orange and achiote sauce. And supa de lima, which is a hot soup made from chicken stock and a citrus fruit filled with chunks of chicken and pieces of fried tortilla. The three essential restaurants we will share with you highlight these dishes in unique and tasty ways. We highly recommend them on your next visit to Merida. At the end, we throw in a surprise hidden gem restaurant that we couldn't resist mentioning. The Museum of Yucatecan Gastronomy should probably be your first stop on your culinary journey through Merida. It certainly was for us and we came here three times during our stay. On the one hand, the site is a restaurant where the best of the cuisine of this area is offered, but together with this, visitors are also able to have a tour of a gastronomic museum. In the back of the building is a replica of an ancient village of the Yucatan. The point is to teach visitors how the Maya people lived and how they prepared ingredients. We always started off with the tortillas and their unique dips. Honestly, we did kind of miss our usual guacamole. We practically sampled the menu over time. This included most of the meats which are wrapped in banana leaves and prepared in the traditional way of being slow cooked. My favorite was the two person sized grilled plate filled with all the tastiest meats. Next, we take you to a new addition to the culinary boom in Merida. It's a hip new restaurant called Catrin. As you walk in, you instantly get the true spirit of Mexico. In the inside dining area, an artist painted vibrantly colored paintings that depict Mexican popular culture. Continue out to the garden and you are greeted by a huge mural, in the center of which is the Catrin himself, looking at you with his cane in hand. Catrin was a term used to describe a dandy of the high society elite. Catrin is a trendy place to hang out and have some drinks with friends in the patio area. The bar specializes in cocktails. To eat, we had the bone marrow, which was incredible, as well as the kebabs. We stumbled upon this next restaurant without knowing it's kind of famous. The restaurant is in front of Santa Ana Park, which you may know from our walking tour. The series is called The Chronicles of Taco on Netflix Mexico, which highlighted this restaurant. Without a doubt, the favorites were the famous cochinita tacos, which are served with the habanero sauce that is a specialty of the house. We are going to leave you with a bonus. Don't be put off by the potential touristy draw of this low-key restaurant, which is located directly in the center of historic Merida. It's our hidden gem. What makes dining at Amaro pleasant is the large outside patio. There is also art by local artists lining the courtyard. The menu is extensive, which includes pastas, pizzas, and vegetarian dishes. But the traditional Yucatecan cuisine is also a highlight. The food was good and inexpensive, and the service and atmosphere were delightful. This place is so close to Plaza Grande. It's a great jumping off and refueling point when exploring this historic city. Don't go anywhere. Watch this video to see what's next on our adventures. And please don't forget to like and subscribe to see what else is coming. Finally, check out our merchandise store where you can create fully personalized t-shirts, greeting cards, mugs, and more, all of which help support the growth of our channel. See you in the next video.